الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبة في الله asking and begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance continually is the affair of the mu'min it's the affair of the believer meaning that the believer should concern him concern his or herself with begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance and forgiveness constantly and there are so many ayat and hadith to show us that that was a sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam that he sallallahu alayhi wasallam uh, asked for forgiveness more than 70 times a day and in another narration more than a hundred times a day sallallahu alayhi wasallam and that's the shan, that's the affair of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam likewise the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wasallam used to also pray in the depths of the night until his feet swelled and say when asked about that by Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha he sallallahu alayhi wasallam responded by saying Allah tuk, Allah akun abdin shukura okay ma qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam shouldn't i be a grateful slave shouldn't i be a grateful slave this is the prophet sallallahu rabbi wa sallamu alayhi because Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha she was uh, mentioning this to the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam saying hey you've been forgiven for what you did in the past and whatever you will do in the future. SubhanAllah. You know, why are you putting yourself through this? This great, the, these great acts of ibadah, but also a, an aspect of, of, of torment or difficulty, mashakka. Mashakka. This is, this is some difficulty. You know, your feet are swelling. And the Prophet ﷺ said, shouldn't I be a, a grateful slave? So it shows how different we are compared to the Prophet ﷺ, even though we claim we want to follow the Sunnah. And all of us, uh, as long as we're not the people of Nefi, you know, the people who, 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 who negate the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, then we all, even Ahl Bidah, many of them, they claim or they want to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, but very few of us are really grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like that. You know, it's... Uh, for many of us, it's difficult for us to do the wajib. You know, we're, we, we make it difficult upon ourselves because we're so distracted by the dunya. And a lot of times we're just ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is why we're so different. And why we're in, so, we're, we're in need of the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and asking Him for guidance and safety in our faith in our iman and protection from the hellfire and to ask him for ikhlas with the bad Allah sunnah you know we, we we need to continually ask our lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for hidayah for guidance allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says kitab al kareem which we all read in surah al-fatiha ihdina sirat al-mustaqim here you're you're imploring allah Guide us to the straight path. You're imploring, you're imploring your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide you. To guide you to what pleases Him. To the sirat. To the sirat al mustaqim the straight path. You don't want to be misguided in any way. Whether that be in bid'ah, whether that be in kufr, whether that be in ilhad, or any kind of thisk, you want guidance. And that is the affair of the mu'min. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the Kitab al kareem also in the Sigh to dua uh, that, that this is a, a, a supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbana la tazag qulubana ba'da the daytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahmah innaka antal wahhab. O Allah, Oh, oh, our Lord, do not let our hearts go astray after you have guided us. And give us from your mercy. Because that guidance, that hidayah is from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance and, and, and for, for, for the that. Because you, he's given you the guidance to Islam, he's given you the guidance to Iman. But you want to, have to, to continually have that guidance and you don't want misguidance after you've received that guidance. That's, that's, uh, that's taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's fearing Allah and that's relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's asking and begging his, for, for his favor and that shows a humility, why? Because you are not sufficing yourself with the bit of guidance that you for sure have received because you know that you can be misled even when you have been guided meaning that your hearts can change you can get Islam but you can get bid'ah you can get on Islam but you can get sunnah you can be on the sunnah and you can become misguided from the sunnah so this is why we ask him and beg him for his favor, his guidance his assistance to be continually guided. And that's the affair of the mu'min. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with, with his favors, his guidance, his forgiveness, and sincerity on the sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.